Hello friends! Today I am going to show you how I made the Gryffindor's common room. Drawings of some of the elements will be in the description of the video. Let's start! For the frame I used 4mm swivel and cut the necessary parts with the table saw. But you can use a copping saw or jigsaw. I glue all the pieces together with white wood glue. While the glue is drying, I have time to make stone bricks. I will be using XPS foam, which I bought at a construction store. First, I will make squares of 20 by 20 mm and cut out the bottom of them. PVA glue is great for gluing XPS foam and wood. By the way, I didn't show you how I made the stone texture. I will need a toothbrush for this. Just bang the bristles against the foam until you get the texture you want. Now I cut the thin strips. I purposely cut them in different thicknesses so that the wall would be embossed. I will need quite a few of them. From these strips I will cut blocks of 3 cm. The bricks are ready and I'm going to glue them all over the walls. I made the wall with the window out of 2 mm thick chipboard. I glued it with bricks, using the same principle, nothing complicated. This part fits snugly into place. The space behind the window should be closed by two triangles. You get something like a roof. Not that, I do not glue the wall with the window, only the triangle. When the glue dries, the part with the window can be easily removed. I made these blocks with a notch to cover the top of the wall. I used a toothbrush to make a pattern on the last blocks. It turned out beautifully. I thought for a long time about how and what to make a window and decided to make it out of paper. Especially for this I found this paper knife. The part with the blade is ball jointed and moves freely. This allows you to cut very intricate patterns. It is difficult to handle in the beginning, but when you get used to it, it becomes very handy. I am very pleased with this knife, all parts are cut very neatly. Now I will glue all the pieces together with glue stick. Liquid glue is no good, because the paper will bend due to moisture. Glue stick dries quickly, so I glue the finished window in its place immediately. I will also glue two cornices to the wall. They will cover the gap that will appear when I glue the wall to the main part. When the glue dries well, you can start painting. I will use only two colors, black and white. Each new layer is lighter than the previous one. It's done. I figured out a way to make a stained glass grid out of thread. To a piece of plywood I will glue this sheet with a drawn grid. Each cell is 6 mm in size. Around the perimeter I'll draw the thinnest nails I can find. I ended up with this. Now I'll take ordinary linen thread, quite thick. I tie them to the nail and start weaving. It is important that the thread is always to the left of the nail. It didn't take long, in a couple of minutes I already had half of it ready. The most important thing is to always keep the thread taut as a string. If everything is done correctly, the cells will be very even. Now I will dab all the threads with super glue. The threads absorb the glue well, and after that they become quite hard.
great grit. I took a piece of plastic from a brownie package and sandpapered it on both sides to make it cloudy. I glued the grid to the glass and dripped special stained glass paint into each cell. After it dries, it hardens and shines through the light. It looks just like the real thing. It's time to solder. I'm using very thin magnet wire, SMD LEDs and resistance. I will use the power from the USB port. It is 5 volts, but my LEDs are 3 volts. I need a resistance of 120 ohms. For the light outside the window, I will use more powerful LEDs. And for convenience, I will take thicker wires from my internet cable. They are easy to solder. Ok, let's continue. It's done. Let's put them aside and now I need to make small boards for the board walk. I have one and a half millimeters of wood veneer. By the way, it's maple, if anyone is interested. It's easy to cut with a knife and break off. Before I do the floor, I glue two pieces of double-sided tape to secure the wires where the lights will be. Done. Now I can glue the boards. The glue is already firmly holding the floor and I applied a water-based wood stain to the boards. I applied several coats to make the color richer. You can cover with varnish, but I like it without. I solder the wires and glue the less with hot glue. A white sheet of paper will reflect the light into the window and hide the wires. The main part is ready. It's time to fill this room with furniture and other small items. I'll start with this lantern which is on the floor. To make it I need a pen, or rather a piece of the rod from the pen. I'll put strips of black paper on it, paint it gold and just glue it to the LED. The size of the bottom part is such that the LED can easily fit in it. That's it, the lantern is ready. Now I will make this wonderful cabinet and table. Drawings and schemes you will find in the description. I will cut all the pieces out of heavy cardboard 2mm thick. This is important because all the dimensions are based on this thickness. All the pieces are ready and now I just have to glue them together. I glued detail 4.1 to the side, it is a thick paper and will make the cabinet more embossed. Done, I made two cabinets at once. The table consists of two benches, to which I glued the tabletop. I am going to paint the furniture a dark burgundy color, so they look vintage. And then I'll dry brush the top with brown paint, getting lighter and lighter with each new coat. The more different layers, the more natural it will look. I'll make the handle for the drawers out of a toothpick. Just coat it with gold paint, cut all the pieces and glue them up. I'll put everything in its place. Now I need to fill all the shelves. I will make books and scrolls like this. I'll make the scroll out of office paper which is a little yellow, the color I choose on purpose. I'll trim the edges with a wet finger, roll it up and burn it with a lighter. To create the books I printed out a sheet like this. You need to cut the strips and glue them to 2mm thick cardboard. When the glue dries all you have to do is cut them off. I've done a lot of books, some of them thicker than others. Look at this, that's 300 books. Fill all the shelves with them. Put them on top of the cabinet and spread them out a little bit on the floor. It's ready. These suitcases are very easy to make. I just glued a few pieces of cardboard and pasted them with paper, added a couple of thin strips and painted.
Zap and it's done. I made the broomstick out of an ice cream stick and soaked it in wood stain. And I made the broom out of linen fiber. This chair. I couldn't get a picture of how I made it, because it's very small and my lens couldn't focus that close. But I leave a link to the instruction in the description. Well, that's it. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I only have one subscriber. Hi buddy. <laughs> Hope you are not my mom. See you later.